Adjustment clips in DaVinci Resolve. In this video, I'll make you a few examples of how you can use adjustment clips. You can find it in the effects library, just type adjustment clips and in the toolbox, you can import it over your timeline. Then you can add an effect over that adjustment clip. In my case, I'm typing glow and I'm leaving it over that adjustment clip. And now what everything is under that adjustment clip will be affected by the glow effect. Also, you can increase and decrease the size of that adjustment clip. Right now, I'm increasing the size to the full length of that video and everything from the video is now affected by the glow effect that I have just added on the adjustment clip. Also, I'm adding a second effect, which is vignette. I'm setting up the settings on the vignette and now everything that is under that adjustment clip is affected by the vignette and the glow effect. If you want to remove the vignette, for example, you can just remove it from the inspector and now just the glow will be added over your main footage. Another example is that you can use it as a zoom in and out. Also, you can use it for a dynamic zoom. I'm highlighting the adjustment clip. I'm increasing the zoom values. And now when the timeline playhead is over that adjustment clip, it will zoom in. And once it's getting out of that adjustment clip, it will zoom out again. You can save that as a preset. You can highlight that adjustment clip, go to file, name it. I'm naming it zoom in, then I'm opening it my media pool and then dragging it with the left mouse click and leaving it over my media pool. And now, even if I lost this zoom in, I can always go in my media. I can drag it again on my timeline and now it's gonna be ready for use. And once the timeline playhead is going over it, it will be zooming in and out. Also, you can use this preset to place it in other parts of your video of your liking. Now let's use adjustment clip for a different thing. This time I'm importing again adjustment clip and we're gonna use it for a transition. So I'm going in the effects library, but before that I'm taking down the duration of that adjustment clip. For the transition, I will just need a few frames, something like five or six frames. I'm leaving it in between my clips. I'm going in the effects library and I'm looking for camera shake. In the open effects, I'm getting that and I'm leaving it over that adjustment clip. Then I'm highlighting it, I'm going in the effects, which is in the inspector, and I'm setting up the values of my camera shake. I'm increasing the motion scale, the speed scale, and basically you can adjust it on the way that you like. I can also see that I'm seeing the borders of that clip, so I'm going down and I'm changing the border type to reflect. And that way my media is gonna be filled to the full screen. Then I'm going to the video tab and I'm increasing that adjustment clip just by a tiny bit. And also I want to change the compulsive mode, but before that I'm gonna hold out and duplicate that adjustment clip. I'm gonna leave the second one just over it. Then I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna go to compulsive mode and I'm gonna select vivid light. Then it's too hard, so I'm gonna reduce the opacity of it to around 10%. And when I play it, this is what I'm having. And now, if you want to save this as a transition, you can do it very easy. You can just click on here on the three dots. Then you can select show power bins. And in your media pool, it should appear a power bins. And you can highlight the master. In here is going to be all the presets that you have just created on which you can use it for previous or future projects not just this one. So I'm highlighting my adjustment clip, I'm going to file and the first one I'm naming glitch1. I'm highlighting the second one, I'm going to file again and changing the name to glitch2. Then I'm going back to my media pool and I'm dragging both of my files one by one to my media pool. And now if I want to use the same effect for my future project, I can always grab it from my power bin in the masters. So I deleted everything and now I'm going to add this one. I'm gonna add the glitch number one and two over each other. And also another thing that you can do is that you can grab them and you can duplicate them in a different sections of your video. Let's pick for example this side and we're gonna use this as an effect. So as a, they are highlighted, I'm gonna increase the duration of that and it's gonna become overlay effect over the video. It's gonna be a little bit longer than the transition one. And you can experiment yourself and add a different effects over that adjustment clip and use it for a future project. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.